is coming back again with another game exhibition. This time going back with NASCAR 99 for the PlayStation 1. About a month ago I got this game at the mall along with uh, three other games um, including NASCAR Thunder 2004 and um, both pretty good racing games. Some of the best I've ever played and I um, can't believe it took me this long to get a NASCAR game. Well, unless you count NASCAR car racing for the Wii back in the day. Anyway. Yeah, this is one game from a golden era. Back when we had a lot of the drivers who are now Hall of Famers. Anyway. Start out with a few single races. Alright, let's see here. Oh yeah, I was uh, using DW last time. <laughs> back when he was still racing. Alright. So anyway, let's see. I'll start out with uh, start out with Dale Earnhardt. Rest in peace, to the Intimidator. All right, let's see what we got for tracks. Yeah, start out with a uh, with a track that's uh that would have been very close to home with him. Go with Charlotte. And, uh, so anyway, yeah, NASCAR 99, very awesome game that's still loads of fun many years later. So what's cool about this game, I've never really looked at this too much, um, you can, um, you can adjust, uh, race length, at least in the race setup in the previous menu. As well as uh, transmission ratios, and um, yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, I suppose it could you could up your game on certain tracks. If you're into that, if you feel it's worth it. All right, so anyway, go for the qualifier. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, let's go for it. Bonte. I'm playing as him in the uh, in uh, season mode, championship mode. All right. All right. Here we go. Well, the graphics, while they're still on par with the previous year, I want to say uh, the resolution on the car graphics. A little better from what I see. Certainly better lighting effects with the sun and, uh, and the lights and all. And the reflections they give. Whoop. There we go. Alright, how do I do? Alright. Fifth place. Cool. Alright. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Of course, this is back when back when Wall Trip was still racing. Okay. Yeah. That's another pretty cool, pretty cool thing about this game. Commentary, both from uh, the broadcast booth and the um, and a little, uh, little driving spotting from the pit lane. Whoop, slow down. He's holding the brake and everything. I was, uh, I was actually holding the brake.
Yeah, I've been planning on doing this game for a while. And, um... Yeah, I finally got around to doing it. Alright. Both Dales going at it. Earnhardt versus Jarrett. And after Jarrett, I think another another Dale would get it. In this case, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Years later, about a decade later. Well, I keep going. Oh, yeah, about to say um, I'm gonna drop the third if I'm not careful. There we go. It's not a sport, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> yep, rest in peace to Benny Parsons. And also, yeah, I figured it was about time for, uh, for a new intro. So this time around, this time around it ain't for free. But it's worth it, I think. It shouldn't cost me a fortune. All ovals are not created equal. They each have unique characteristics. Turn number two of Pocono is a lot different than turn four of Talladega. Learning which turns to slow down on at each track will increase your chances of ending up in victory lane. Oh. Keep it up, buddy. Watch out for, for Dale Jarrett. That was your fastest lap. Cool. Yeah, it might be, well, I don't know if it has everything, but we shall see. Neck and neck. Okay. You know what, I might as well... If I'm going to do this, I might as well... Time. I might uh might do a race with uh with three of my favorites. Three of my favorites from this from this era. I see Rusty Wallace. He was my favorite back when I was like six years old, back when I was five or six, and um might do Bobby Labonte after that. Um him and Terry were quite a few what a force to be reckoned with, those two brothers. During their prime, they were they were on fire. Anybody's race. Well, anybody, by that I mean Earnhardt or Jarrett. Clear low. Number 88 car has taken over the lead. That car is really not Stay in the lead, and there, there goes Gordon. He's ready to make his one now. Car low. The third position belongs to Ken Schrader. Things are getting interesting now. Not if I can help it. Come on, check the fuel, buddy. Third 
position belongs to the GM Goodrich car. He must stay focused. Yep. That's the name of the game. No, no, no. No tires, just gas. Pretty advanced stuff for 98. What you got, Terry? Oh, or do you have to pit? The number two slot belongs to Jeff Gordon. He's driving with a lot of confidence today. Dale Jarrett's fourth quality care car is at the number three spot. All right, outside. He must stay focused. Whoop. That was awful. <laughs> Sterling Marlin has booked up. Marlin is making her run. Uh, who's that, Elliot? Strickland? Ricky Craven is moving up through the field. Maybe that was Walter. Or that was Michael Walter, maybe. I was at the mall. Um, in fact, they had a place I went to called Game Zone. They got pretty much everything from Atari to now. And um, that's where I saw a bunch of these games. And uh, I got this one on sale. It was only two bucks. One of the best two bucks I ever spent. Worth every penny. Then some. There, there's Burton. Back when he was um, in Exide Batteries, and also back during his during his prime. By the time I found about him, found out about him, he was uh, he was driving for Caterpillar, Cat Construction. Finding it. We shall see if I, if I can do it in five laps or four and a half. Okay. Also, and uh, the day to night transition, also pretty good. Pretty good for 98, such as it is. Well, it took uh, Polyphony, I think, until Gran Turismo 5 to get any uh, day to night transition. Granted, it was much slower. Alright. Can I catch Jarrett?
This is no ordinary Sunday brunch. Ah, uh, this is gonna be good. This is going to be good. The GM Goodrich car of Dale Earnhardt is out front. It's still anybody's hey. Keep high. Stay high. Yep. Dale boxing me in. There we go. Stay low. And I heard that's actually um, it's actually a fairly classic move that uh that Dale Earnhardt had. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain um how we uh how he'd swoop in uh during that uh that momentum. Kind of hard to explain. You got it. Yeah, weird thing about this game is that there's no uh, there's no rear view button. Oh, uh oh, that man! If that were a more modern NASCAR game, there's no way. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That uh, that whoa. That they'd uh, stop for me. All right. One down. Okay, for race two, we're going to be uh, looking at Rusty Wallace at Las Vegas. Qualifier. Yeah, you know what's funny is that um that um a lot of the games in this era they actually took out uh a lot of the uh, a lot of the beer sponsors because um it's a game uh, meant for all audiences including children. Anyway, just a whole different seeing him without the Miller Lite. It's also kind of different seeing him in a, in a lighter shade of blue. <laughs> For um, when I saw him, he it was uh, it was the dark blue, um, and um, that same car would um, once uh, I think Rusty retired, and um, that car I don't know if he retired yet, but um, anyway, um, the number two Miller Lite car would eventually go to Kurt Busch. That didn't take long at all uh, for my first uh, climb to the lead. All right, Rusty. Um, that's what I get for looking down at the camera. Whoa, where the heck did he come from? Two things at once. It ain't working. Whoa. Alright, Benson. He's working his way up to the field. It actually worked out perfectly. And I know if um if you uh break and then accelerate quick enough after that, it sends the car into a little bit of a drift. Uh, that's one thing you, you want to avoid most of the time. Alright. Hello, if you, uh, 
you tap on it, tap on the brake repeatedly, um, that usually does pretty good. Pump it a little bit as you turn in, as you head into the turn. Alright. Alright. Let's see what you got, Burton. Let's see what you got, Jeffy. That was his best run so far. Cool. Oh. I down the camera for just a split second. Car low. Oh. And that happens. The number 10 car of Ricky Rudd takes a spot away. Hey, Martin. Better for position. Rusty Wallace is running in second place. Even a full straightaway wasn't Rusty enough time. Hey, bye. Thank God this is just a video game. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble for trying to adjust something like like a camera mid race. And it sure is different. Um, I mean, when this game came out, I was um. Let's see here. Um, I think I was only a year old when this game came out. So it's um, it's different seeing um, seeing all these racers, um, like uh, like uh, Kyle Petty and also um, some of the better some of the names I found out. Who um, by the time I found about them, they were uh, they were long in the tooth and um, seeing them in their prime, it's just amazing. Like Jeff Burton and uh, Rusty Wallace. And my other game, um, which I, I might show off, um, NASCAR Thunder 2004, uh, also for the PS1. Um, um, kind of feels like old meets the newer. Um, cause, uh, yeah, because guys like Bill Elliott um, were, uh, were racing when... Um, when uh, when uh, Dale Jr. was in his heyday, and so so was uh, Tony Stewart. And uh, guys like Jeff Gordon, he was he was still in his still in his prime, still in his heyday. I mean, I was never a big fan of Gordon, but you know. Two things at once. I have fuel and I just reached it. Good thing, too. Also, good thing I don't really need tires on these, uh, these short races. Get back out there and race. Um, someone tells me that a late pit stop is going to cost me. Things are getting interesting oh, now. There was, there was Bobby. Is trying to gain position. Position. Car low. Man, but man, this is back when, back when EA Sports, back when EA, back when they knew what they were doing. Uh, Great hell, for the next decade, um, up until around 2010-ish, EA, this is back when they were on fire. When they had 
a lot of these uh, sports racing games like uh, like NASCAR and Sledstorm. And um, and um, let's see here. The EA games challenge everything. And um, that era, they were. It was truly the renaissance for electronic arts. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got, Jeff Gordon. Huh? Looks like Terry Labonte. Yeah, I think it's either Terry, La either Terry Labonte or uh, Bill Elliott. Will I pass him? Oh my god! Oh my god. Uh, that must have been a huge upset for Bill Elliott. Alright, now for the final race. We're we doing Bobby Labonte at a track he dominated at Atlanta. Alright. Off we go. I feel like they, uh, they could have differentiated the logos a little bit, some of these tracks. A little basic and uh, definitely uh, a lot of them are the same. Anyway, I'm not going to nitpick anymore. I'll have to, I'll have to qualify. Right, let's see what you got, Bobby. Cross me, we shall see. Oh, that was a beauty. We got a great starting position. Nope, not really. It didn't cost me. Hmm. Cool. Gentlemen, start your engines. Now we're riding along with Bobby. At this point, it's going to be. I'm Setting the um, setting myself up for a hat trick. Mistakes on this track, this kind of track. It's a, uh, it's a little shorter and, or at least it feels shorter and um, it's a little more narrow than the others. That's for sure. All right. Who's that, Martin? Um, no, it's not Martin. That's uh. Focus. 
wants to challenge Bobby Levante as well. Alright, challenge accepted. Indeed. trend on this track is going Johnny to continue. Quite a blast from the past for, um, really for all your NASCAR fans, fans, I'm sure. Johnny Benson seems to be having problems with his car. <laughs> he could have a tire going down. Oh, no. Trouble for Ernie Eric's number 36 car. Ooh. That car I'm guessing somebody crashed. It'd be awesome if um, if they if they did have better uh, better replays. Uh, hell, even um, even a rear view button would have been nice. A look back. Yeah, back when uh, we all know what happened with him a few years later. Eh, it wasn't a good day to be Sterling. It wasn't a good day to be Earnhardt either. Either of the Earnhardts. Any of them. Anyway. Whoa! Yeah, if this were if this were NASCAR Thunder 2004, there's no way he would have stopped uh, when I cut him off. He probably would have he probably would have plowed into me and probably would probably could have wiped out as well. Uh oh. Oh, there's Sterling. And uh, Jeremy Mayfield, I think that was uh, the driver I couldn't remember earlier. Really. Oh, there's Martin. Challenging me. Heh <laughs> All right, Bobby. Halfway home, keep it up. It takes a well-conditioned athlete and a lot of practice to compete at this level. Hamilton is in pit road. It's also back when Kyle Petty was still racing. stops for 98 this was something
All right, let's see what you guys got. He's steadily losing positions. Not if I have anything to say about it. Not if they're, uh, the, the pit does. <laughs> There you go, Rudd. Boy, this is a great race. Yep. Clear hot. The interstate battery's car is moving up through the pack. Look, the position shot. Trying to hold this and battle it out for the lead as well. Not gonna be easy. Doesn't look like it. Alright. But the next few laps may prove me wrong. I'm already in third. There's hope yet. Whoa! Alright, let's, let's see what you got. Bobby versus Bobby. The number three spot belongs to Dale Earnhardt. I want to say that was uh, a Sterling's colors uh, a few years earlier. Whoa! This is going to be great. What are we going to see next? Some of the teams are driving the new Ford Taurus chassis this year. Huh. Yeah, of course, this is back, back when it was all American. I still think bringing Toyota to NASCAR was a little bit of a mistake. Uh oh, here comes the Intimidator. Can can Labonte do what he did in his first win and uh, and overtake Earnhardt? Let's find out. Uh, his first win back in '96. And the crowd is going nuts. Down the stretch she comes. All right. Cool. Demonstration, little three part of, uh, of NASCAR 99 for the PS1. Yeah, pretty awesome game and still very playable 20 plus years later. Anyway, this has been Garrett McCouchy's Cummings, another game exhibition. Till next time, keep on racing. <laughs>